My name is Sadia. I'm 20 years old right now. I came from Somalia originally, but we went to Kenya in 1999. Um, we migrated from there to Minnesota first, around 2000, and at that time I was five years old. Then we didn't stay in Minnesota for long due to not having much family, so we migrated to Seattle. Again, another migration, but I was young. And started my life, went to school, felt like a normal kid. So in 2012, after I finished high school, I decided that I might as well take a journey back home. I've always had this feeling where I didn't have connection with my father due to such a young age of divorce where I didn't know and I didn't know really what happened between my father and mother, but I knew that I had to separate from both of them and live with my grandma. So I was like, in 2012, I have nothing to do. I have two years to think about what I want to be. I might as well go back home, see my father, and see the country because the media portrays it as to be this horrific place where there's war and there's no peace. And I mean, that happens, but there's always a good side. To, there's a good side and a bad side about everything in this world. So I went there just with an open mind by myself, saw my father, had a moment with him. I had a weight off my shoulders. Went back to like different places in Somalia and traveled around. Of course, that's what we do. Um, then like as I was there, I got like a whole different view in life going there and seeing these people. And it really changed my life till this day. It changed me to a point where I want to go back and help the people that I see. But this time, I want to be more experienced in why I want to help them and learn what I want to help them and how I can change these people's lives. After all, it starts with one person and we could all do it. And I hope the people that are listening to this, that they don't just see me as like another kid that's westernized. You don't know much about Somalia, but when I went back, it taught me a lot. It changed my life. And I feel like every kid should go and have the opportunity to go see it.